Okay, you want to progress in life, you want to get more money, you want to get a girlfriend, you want a lot of things considering you're doing nothing. How am I doing nothing? Whatever tasks you do right now throughout your day, I guarantee you're jerking around the main goal you have. For example, you tried cold showers in order to gain some more confidence to speak to strangers outside. May sound reasonable, but it's like waxing your car in order to learn karate. And yes, it only works in the movie. Stop filling your days with unnecessary tasks that do not bring you any closer to your goal directly. If you want to get a promotion or start an online business, you need to do stuff that's congruent and that will bring you progression towards success. Do not make a mistake, you're not alone. All of us are circling around and that's why most of us never succeed. But we do that because real action we must do is really scary. It's scary to flirt with a girl you don't know. What if she thinks you're weird? It's scary to try and sell somebody something. What if they think you're a scammer? Oh, my product is not worth their time. These are scary things, my friends, but they bring results. You could achieve more in a week than you have in the previous six months. Just by being courageous, looking fear straight in the eyes and saying, F you. If you're really anxious and dripping sweat to do the things that you're supposed to do, then start little by little, very slowly. It's still much better than what you're doing right now, lying to yourself that it's productive. Here are some of the things you do to distract yourself instead of doing the work you need to do. Cold shower. You do this in order to bring you to discomfort and make it easier for yourself to do other harder, uncomfortable tasks. You can still do it because it brings other health benefits apart from the confidence you get. But missing it once or even ditching it completely shouldn't have that big of an impact on if you do the important work or not. It shouldn't even have a slight impact. You're still able to hold a conversation with a cashier independent of if you did cold shower or not. Don't tell yourself that it's impossible to have confidence if you didn't do your five habits that you do every single day, if you didn't do your morning routine. What you and I've done in the past is basically attaching if we are able to do the important stuff purely based on the fact if we did our whole morning routines and meditations. Completely unrelated habits. The only way you get better at talking to people with less anxiety is by talking to people repeatedly. No other discomfort will make you a master of communication. You're also trying to eat 100% healthy. I'm gonna straight up tell you, it's impossible to have a perfect diet. All the guys you've seen online that have a perfect diet, they're basically just doing that for the camera. You don't know what they're doing in private life and outside of the camera. You can obviously force yourself to have a perfect diet, but it takes so much more willpower that could have been used for other important work you're delaying because you still don't have a perfect diet. Be honest, will eating 100% healthy have that much big of an impact to your confidence and your thoughts as opposed to eating healthy 80% of the time? By doing the latter, you give yourself some more space to make mistakes and you use that energy for important work instead of obsessing over if I ate one little choco banana. The reason you want a perfect diet is because you don't do anything else important in life. Reading educational books. This one might be a little controversial, but unless you're using the very same knowledge you read from the book in the very week you read it, you're reading for entertainment, my boy. It will spike imagination and give you some new ideas for life, but in general 90% of it will be lost and therefore wasted time. Pick your book smarter. Reading is a great habit, but only if you know how to do it right. Pick a book that directly relates to your life situation right now and then consider Consume it in a way that it's not really important to retain all 100% of the information, but instead three to five most important aspects that you can implement in your, to your life right now and that will have a big impact on your success. This is how you read productively. Books are useless unless you use the knowledge. And if you don't do it immediately, most of it will be forgotten. I can say that all the other habits such as stretching might be a form of procrastination but it's not necessarily. If you notice that you're a little stiff and you skipped on your stretching routine, then go for a stretch. A thing I've personally done in the past is when I had to choose between if I do my stretching routine or do some revolutionary work that could obviously change my life, I just decided to do stretching because it's really necessary. I skipped it even though I was flexible as though, but still broke. That was basically my way of coping and skipping the work. And it happens to everybody, so you must be mindful of it. Your brain will try to play tricks with you and try to push you to do some other things that are productive, but that's not really your priority right now. If you have some time to do the stretching afterwards, then of course do it. It's better than sitting on the couch. But if you're choosing between stretching and something else and your stretching is always at 12 p.m. you can't miss it then that becomes a problem what you need to take from this video is do not chase the comfort of doing uncomfortable tasks you're already used to but consistently chase things that scare you because that's the only way to grow by breaking your insecurities 
by expanding your knowledge, by defeating your fears. You'll grow and progress at an alarming rate. You won't even recognize yourself in about three months. As well as your life will be more entertaining because you'll have many stories to tell. You basically have nothing to lose. Your new life starts now.